Tin, too, fluoride, commonly referred to commercially as stannous fluoride, from Latin stannum. Tian is a chemical compound with the formula tin 2 fluoride. It is a colorless solid used as an ingredient in toothpastes as an alternative to sodium fluoride. Stannous fluoride converts the calcium mineral apatite into fluorapatite, which makes tooth enamel more resistant to bacteria-generated acid attacks. The majority of toothpastes contain calcium minerals, over time these react with sodium fluoride to form calcium fluoride which is almost completely insoluble and thus ineffective for tooth protection. Stannous fluoride is a more stable ingredient and thus remains effective in strengthening tooth enamel upon longer storage. Stannous fluoride has been shown to be more effective than sodium fluoride in reducing the incidence of dental caries and controlling gingivitis. Stannous fluoride was used under the trade name Floriston in the original formulation of the toothpaste brand Crest, though it was later replaced with sodium monofluorophosphate under the trade name Floristat. Stannous fluoride is the active ingredient in Crest Pro Health brand toothpaste. Crest Pro Health issues a warning on the tube that stannous fluoride may cause staining, which can be avoided by proper brushing, and that its particular formulation is resistant to staining. However, any stannous fluoride staining that occurs due to improper brushing is not permanent. Stannous fluoride is also used in Oral B Pro Expert. Stannous fluoride is also readily available in over the counter rinses. Production Tin 2 fluoride can be prepared by evaporating a solution of snow in 40% HF. Aqueous solutions Readily soluble in water, tin 2 fluoride is hydrolyzed. At low concentration, it forms species such as snow plus, tin 2 hydroxide and tin 3 hydroxide minus. At higher concentrations, predominantly polynuclear species are formed, including plus and plus. Aqueous solutions readily oxidize to form insoluble precipitates of SNIV, which are ineffective as a dental prophylactic. Studies of the oxidation using Mossbauer spectroscopy on frozen samples suggests that O2 is the oxidizing species. Lewis acidity Tin 2 fluoride acts as a Lewis acid. For example, it forms a 1 to 1 complex, CH3, 3 NSNF2 and 2 to 1 complex, CH3, 3 N, 2 tin 2 fluoride with trimethylamine, and a 1 to 1 complex with dimethylsulfoxide, CH3, 2 SO tin 2 fluoride. In solutions containing the fluoride ion, F-, it forms the fluoride complexes tin 3 fluoride-, minus, minus, and tin 2 fluoride, OH2. Crystallization from an aqueous solution containing NaF produces compounds containing polynuclear anions, e.g. NaSN2F5 or Na4 depending on the reaction conditions, rather than NaSNF3. The compound NaSNF3, containing the pyramidal tin 3 fluoride minus anion, can be produced from a pyridine, water solution. Other compounds containing the pyramidal tin 3 fluoride minus anion are known, such as Ca tin 3 fluoride 2. Reducing properties Tin 2 fluoride is a reducing agent, with a standard reduction potential of EO SNIV, SNII equals plus 0.15 volts. Solutions in HF are readily oxidized by a range of oxidizing agents O2, SO2 or F2 to form the mixed valence compound, containing SNII and SNIV and no SN, SN bonds. Structure The monoclinic form contains tetramers, tin 2 fluoride, where there are two distinct coordination environments for the SN atoms. In each case, there are three nearest neighbors, with SN at the apex of a trigonal pyramid, and the lone pair of electrons sterically active. Other forms reported have the germanium fluoride and paratellurite structures. Molecular tin 2 fluoride in the vapor phase, tin 2 fluoride forms monomers, dimers, and trimers. Monomeric tin 2 fluoride is a nonlinear molecule with an SNF bond length of 206 pm. Complexes of tin 2 fluoride, sometimes called difluoristaniline, with an alkyne and aromatic compounds deposited in an argon matrix at 12 K have been reported. Safety 
Tin 2 fluoride can cause redness and irritation if inhaled or comes into contact with the eyes. At acute levels over 2 mg per cubic meter, if ingested, it can cause abdominal pains and shock. Rare but serious allergic reactions are possible. Symptoms include itching, swelling, and difficulty breathing. When used in dental products, mild tooth discoloration may also occur. This can be removed by brushing. References